All right, so I want to talk about the Ruger LCR today. Now, I want to talk about accessories, and I want to talk about upgrades you can do to your gun to make it a better defensive tool. Now, out of the box, the Ruger LCR is a fantastic gun. I highly recommend this gun. It's one of my favorite concealed carry guns of all time, but there's always little things you can do to make it better. And there's obviously always accessories that you want to have when it comes to any gun, but specifically the Ruger LCR. That's what we're going to talk about here today. All right, so first up, let's talk about holsters. Now, what I have here is a DeSantis. It's a leather holster. It's got a thumb brake outside the waistband. Got a little uh, tension screw there. Great holster, but this is my personal preference, right? Um, this isn't your personal preference. So this holster really doesn't matter. What matters is quality, okay? So it doesn't matter whether you're talking about inside the waistband, outside the waistband, leather, kydex, whatever works for you, make sure you have quality. Don't cheap out and get an Ace Case or an Uncle Mike's. Get something that is that is made and molded for this gun, period. Okay, so if you gotta spend 60, 70, 80 bucks, doesn't matter, that's where you need to put your money. This is what secures this firearm to your person. Don't cheap out on it, get something good and, 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 and quality made, all right? Next up, let's talk about extra ammunition. Uh, speed loaders. Um, highly recommend speed loaders. You can go with speed strips, your call. Um, I like this one here. This is the five star armory, or excuse me, five star firearms uh, speed loader, specifically made for the Ruger LCR. Now, there are HKs out there on the market. HK is probably the most popular company for speed loaders out there. Um, you can pick up an HK loader uh, for a, a you know, five shot snub nose revolver for about 10 bucks. This one cost me about 25 shipped. The reason I spent more money on it is, is as I said, specifically made for the Ruger LCR. Because here's the problem with the HKs. Now you see we place this in here like this and it drops right in, okay? And you see it fits straight in, drops straight into the cylinder. But you can see that it touches the edge here. It touches the gun, it touches the frame, it touches the grip. The HKs are bigger, okay? They have more meat, more metal around here and they don't drop straight into the Ruger LCR. So what you have to do is when you load with an HK, you have to kind of come in at a little bit of an angle and kind of jiggle it in to get it in there and then release and drop the rounds into the cylinder. I don't want to have to mess with that in a defensive situation. That extra second could be that extra second that saves my life or the life of somebody else. So I'll pay an extra $15 for that peace of mind in a defensive situation. Another accessory that I like is going to come uh, if you like to pocket carry, which I do sometimes. This gun is small enough to pocket carry, and uh, I, I, that is an option that I use sometimes. This is the Aegis Armory Guardian. It's just a trigger guard cover attached to a piece of paracord, and all it does is it snaps over the trigger guard just like that. You drop this in your pocket. This end attaches to your belt. As you pull the gun up to present to the target, Okay, because this end is attached to your belt, it pops off, and you're ready to go. Okay, that simple. It's 15 bucks. You can pick them up at their website. It's a great little option. I really, really like uh, the the uh, the Guardian. All right, so now let's talk about things you can actually do to the gun itself. Okay, first up is going to be the grip. You can change the grip on these, like you can with any revolver. This is the original Hogue Tamer grip that came with the gun, but I have tried a couple other grips with this, and I can tell you this is by far my favorite. And let me explain why. The other grip that these Ruger LCRs sometimes come with is what they call the boot grip, okay? And it's a slimmer profile, no finger groove, longer grip that doesn't have that tacky feel of the, of the Hogue Tamer. Now, this is for a concealed carry gun. I don't want a longer grip. The grip is the hardest part to conceal. I don't want it being a half inch longer. And as far as the finger grooves go, they work very well for me. Now, they may not work well for you, but they work well for me. Plus, they mimic this undercutting of the trigger guard that you see a lot of people do to like their Glocks and some other polymer guns out there on the market. This gives you a higher grip up there and allows you to get better purchase on the gun. Same thing with the tackiness of the whole grip. Gets good purchase on the gun. And when I'm shooting 38 Special Plus P's through this very lightweight gun, whatever I can do to help me maximize my purchase on the grip is definitely a plus in my book. So when it comes to this gun, what I recommend is sticking with the stock Hogue Tamer grip. If yours comes with the boot grip, which some of them do, you can pick up a Hogue Tamer grip for about 15 bucks, and I recommend swapping it out because this is the superior of those two grips. Now the other thing you can change out on this is going to be the front sight. That's kind of the cool thing about the Ruger LCR. Most snub nose revolvers out there, you don't have the option to change out the front sight. This one you do, and you see here we've got a little roll pin. You punch that out, take the, the uh, sight off, put the new sight on, punch the roll pin back in. It's just that simple. Now, I went with a fiber optic front sight from Hi-Viz. There are about four or five companies out there that make sights for this. Um, you can get them in fiber optic or uh, tritium. Now, I prefer the fiber optic for one reason. Um, it gives me a, a more clear sight picture than a tritium dot wheel, even in low light conditions. Now, if it was pitch black, 
Tritium is the way to go. But if there's any ambient light wherever I'm at, a fiber optic is a better option. And since this is a concealed carry gun, I'm going to be carrying this around with me when I'm out and about doing things. I don't go out and about doing things in pitch dark. I just don't. Even if I'm in a movie theater, I've got the light from the screen that is going to light up that front fiber optic sight. So I'm going to have ambient light to see that more clearly than I would see a tritium dot when there's ambient light. So again, if you're at home, your, your concealed carry uh, handgun is not in use. You probably have a home defense gun that has a tritium front sight on it. That's awesome. But when I'm out and about, I prefer a fiber optic. So there you go. Those are really the only two things that you can do to the gun. Grip, front fiber optic sight, get yourself a good holster, a good speed loader, and if you like to pocket carry, get yourself a little uh, Aegis Armory Guardian. That's pretty much it. That is what you need to worry about when it comes to setting up your Ruger LCR as a good concealed carry defensive tool. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Any questions or comments, leave that stuff down below, and we will talk to you guys later. Thanks.